Welcome to week six of my video on renovating my mud house. We in this video we did our rafters. There's gonna be exposed beam rafters um with some tongue and groove above and I'll show you the process of building those and what it looks like, what it took a little bit um to build these. So hopefully you get a little bit of a grasp of what this took. So here we were um sliding the wall in first of all for our bedroom is gonna be right here. This could be the window looking out basically over a property. So first of all, I had to slide this wall in and tack it down. We'll have to put some shims, shims in later underneath there to get it um, nice and solid all along. Because right now it is basically, as you can see, running along on top of those beams that are in the house there. We were able to get this tacked down and then we got started with our addition um, roof there. So we set up the center post. Uh, used 5 by 15s or 5 by 20s actually on this end and set up four of them, smashed them together and they used the two outer ones to kind of hold that ridge pole in place. And then I found a old beam that I'd use for my house to use at this other end because this is going to be exposed later on. My steps will come up here so hopefully that looks kind of cool with the old beam exposed along there. It's, it's a pretty beautiful beam but cut it too or didn't cut it it was too short as it was so we blocked it up i'm gonna have to put a little bit of skirt around the bottom of it and then put it in place and then we got a ridge pull up and started measuring for our rafters to figure out how they would fit in there we were also trying to measure from the wall to make sure that the um, center ridge pull was even from the wall and from uh, the right distance for all of our rafters along that side. So we kind of just made a template and then went from there with um, with our template to install the rest of the rafters. First of all, put the far, far one on and then we're able to get our second one. Screw the ridge pole in place. It is running out past by quite a bit, but it's fine. We'll chop that off later after we get done with the rest of our, um, with the rest of the roof. And here you can see our fairly crude setup for cutting these out. We made a little jig and then laid it on. And then we were able to cut all of our rafters out here um, with a scale saw to get them pretty close to perfect. So they fit in place and then we laid them up there and started laying them out. We did 60 centimeter centers on the rafters so that hopefully they're not too far apart for any snow load or any weight that there's going to be up here. This slope on this roof right here is not very steep, so I'm hoping that it also adds a little strength for that. Um, went along and tacked these in place, or screwed them in place. I actually got some decent screws to, to screw down both ends and make sure that they stay in place. Actually, first of all, we screwed down the one end and then screwed down our other end, as you'll see later, on the other rafters on the other side. And then we're able to make it um, be able to line a ridge pole up so that it was straight. It was a bit of a pain working with that ridge pole because they're a bit twisted or bowed. There's a bunch of, there are some issues with the lumber, but we were able to twist it mostly in place with the rafters. So we put in the rafters on the other side, checking out my roof window, um, planning to put a roof window in later. Just want to make sure that I was spacing my rafters far enough apart that we could fit that in later. So after we got the roof um, basically placed on the addition, we started the roof on the main house. So it started again with our end um, posts or whatever you want to call them. And the end to hold a ridge pole. Started with the end one, put one in the center also because I couldn't get a ridge pole long enough to cover the span the whole house. My ridge pole here is about uh, three and a half, no, four meters. My house is eight meters long. And screwed it down in place to hold it so hopefully it doesn't rock around too much. And there we are um, getting some more rafters for this side and getting those in place. And then we got our next ridge pole in and then tied it all together right here with from the addition. And here we are it's cutting up in the valley. The valleys were a bit of a pain to cut because um, each cut is a rather interesting cut for this. Once they were cut, we screwed them in from the bottom, had to hold them in place and screw them at the same time. We wanted to make sure that our um, spacing was right and a lot of the measurements were right so it looks good. This is all going to be exposed, planning on putting tiny groove above it. I will make that video next week of putting tiny groove above it and how we're going to set that all up. But here we are on top of the roof 
and getting ready to get to work on those valleys to cut those in places a lot of cuts a lot of um, work on that and then we also started working on doing the tongue groove on the other um, house side after this so as I was saying my roof's going to be um, this exposed beams and then tongue groove and then 10 centimeters of foam and five centimeters of foam I'm going to kind of stack it up and then on the top be lath and tile so we'll see how it works see whether or not it um, all looks good if you have any brilliant ideas or any ways you would design this let me know we are tossing around the idea of putting stain on our tongue groove staining the beams whether or not we want to stain it or paint it white or make it somehow just make it flow better with the old house but we'll see what it looks like we will probably mess with a couple of different ideas and see what happens with it so put your ideas in the comments or let me know what you think on that or how you would do this differently as i said it was a lot of work for this to cut all these in place we basically had to get our first angle and then make sure that it looked good on the bottom because that's the side you're going to be looking at and then cut and cut and make sure that's all good you can see we're working on the tongue groove over there on the other side that video is going to be coming out next week of the um, full process for that so if Please make sure and subscribe to follow up with that and see the process as we bring this whole house together. And here's the view from the top looking down through this one valley, this, uh, the more shallow valley, which is going to have the windows out looking out across our property and then down to the neighbor and then a view from the bottom you can see how these rafters look and see how this valleys come together and i thought think they look pretty good and especially once we get them covered with a tongue groove i think that's whole um the whole roof will look quite well quite good so here's a little bit just a look around at what our process progress was this week my old post there um these valleys going down in there you can see the um cuts i think it was decently well um the beam going up this is mostly going to be right here in this area coming we're coming to right now we're thinking of making a children's play area type thing and then a bedroom in the back Just because there is not that much space up here once you get the beams in but it's, it's still about two meters in the inside so there's a look back and then a look down the roof line so you can see the house there and then i also wanted to take you for a quick walk through what we've got done so far so this is the bottom story floor here um you can see how this looks this is going to be the bathroom right here with a bedroom in the back and a hallway in the front so this is the window out of the um back bedroom there's going to be a couple more windows in here that just have not cut them in place yet and then this is going to the old house you can see how this all is going to flow together i'm going to cut out some more of that wall to make a hall um, enter right into the old house and here's the view from outside the house and the roof lines